Okay, for series three, it's time to uh, put it all together and pull out the stops. So uh, what we're going to do in series three is essentially um, pretty much anything you want. You get to pick one director, a different director than you've used before, and you can use color and imagery and angles. You get a choice of three different typefaces, three different weight sizes, lots of rope to kill yourself on that one. And all we're doing here is essentially exploring, um, putting together our typographic concepts into really cool layouts and designs. You get a chance to play with um, different hierarchy and different, um, different colors. Like I said, there's lots and lots of opportunities here. So what I'm showing you here is essentially a series of studies from the past. Um, and these are getting a little closer to the final than where you're going to be starting at. But this is where you're sort of shooting for, okay? And so, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can use, you know, graphics. You can use graphic elements. You can use color. You can use imagery. Um and you can play with angles you can play with different typefaces you can play with your bodies of text some of the things i like that are going on in this one for example is you know the idea of playing with hierarchy within um within the body text and i think this is one of the things that a lot of people miss is the is that opportunity that you know even like say short films you know, that's a little bit more dominant than the best film filmmakers. And even then, like of the, and, um, you know, those kinds of things can be even uh, diminished to some degree, right? De-emphasized. So um, just kind of cruising back through these quickly, um, you know, the idea of pulling a little pull quote out, you know, those kinds of things. Um, you know, playing with the white space, playing with repeated text, drop shadows, um, you know, thinking about what's really important, you know, and, you know, this kind of stuff, fine print, you know, is that really important? Can you really minimize that? Sure, you can, absolutely. You know, and then playing around with different layouts, you know, different angles, and again, like I said, these are a little bit more toward the end in the refinement stage of things, more like what we'll be doing at the um, in the last review. But you get the idea of where, like I said, where you want to go with this as well. Um, you know, you can play around with really weird distortion. Like, for example, here, I wonder why that was black on such a dark blue background. That doesn't make much sense. Um, and that would have been an opportunity for even a contrasting color like yellow or something, right? So, um, you know, these are just different, like I said, different ways of thinking about it. You know, your imagery can be abstract, it can be recognizable, it can be big, it can be small. Um, and that one's just getting started, but we also have, let me see, <clears throat> like here's a nice little sequence right in here where, um, you know, really kind of pushing things out, minimizing the amount of white space, but then being very effective with the type. Now, you might not necessarily want to use a typeface like this for body text. It's a little bit much, but you can sort of see that the style was kind of being pushed there. Here, for example, text inside of a shape. If anyone wants to know how to do that, let me know and I'll give you a quick uh, demo on that. Um, you know, playing around with imagery as texture, playing around like, you know, with the playfulness, like Michelle Gondry is kind of a goofball and does some fun things. And so that's a little bit more, you know, in the for sort of the artsy fartsy where this one is a little bit more clean and a little more even this one kind of Western and, you know, uh, Rodriguez is kind of known for doing sort of generic um genre type films in that regard and so you know these are just some different ways of thinking about it and i think you know lots of opportunity here to have some fun to play around with the various possibilities that we have um that we have explored 
and you know time to just have some have some fun with it most of these are fairly structured they don't need to necessarily be that structured these were just some that i found that i could put together here for this demo but you know you can be more goofy more playful more edgy so i encourage you to sort of explore those kinds of opportunities as well so there you go have some fun and let's see what you can do for the next review